Pakistan reported 650 new COVID-19 cases with a positivity rate of 3.88% during the past 24 hours, according to the stats shared by the National Institute of Health. A total of 16,755 tests were carried out countrywide, out of which two people lost the fight against coronavirus, while 138 patients were treated in critical care units. A parliamentary committee has authorized the military leadership to hold talks with the outlawed Tariq e Taliban Pakistan, Interior Minister Rana Sanawla said. Speaking at a press conference, he said the military leadership would inform the committee about any progress in the talks and the matter would then be debated in parliament. The minister said the talks would be held only under the constitution of Pakistan, adding that neither anything over and above the constitution would be negotiated nor would any such agreement be reached. Chairman Pakistan Tariq Insaf Imran Khan warned his party workers and supporters of being wary of rigging during the upcoming bi-polls in Punjab. Addressing his party's massive power show at the parade ground in Islamabad, the PTI Supremo said PMLN can never win the polls without rigging it. तो आम या लोटे पकड़ा देती है या इसको कहती है जोर है या गदार है आम इनके साथ नहीं है इमरान vowed to win the forthcoming by elections saying despite alleged rigging attempts his party will defeat the rival parties सारी काम सुन लो पंजाब में आज सुन लो हमने इनके एंपायरों के बावजूद इन चोरों को शिकस्त देनी है Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz Vice President Maryam Nawaz said that the coalition government had to make some decisions with a heavy heart, including increase in prices of petroleum products, only because of the wrongdoings of former Prime Minister Imran Khan. Maryam said the International Monetary Fund told the coalition government that it did not trust Pakistan because of the wrongdoings of Imran Khan. She termed the agreement signed with the IMF by the then Prime Minister Imran Khan a bad deal, adding that the former Premier took a U-turn by breaching the clauses that Pakistan agreed with the global lender. Today, we have 